Hey girls, today's going to be a try on haul. These are things obviously I picked up before we went into lockdown. So the things from Primark I bought like about three weeks ago, maybe even a month now. So they've been waiting around to be filmed for quite a while. But I don't know if Primark is going to open an online store. I really hope they start selling things online. Don't know where else you can find these items, but perhaps they will just still be in store once everything returns back to normal, once the shops open again. So yeah, just keep that in mind if you're in the UK. But luckily I did manage to pick up a few pieces in March, um, I think end of February, some of these items I ordered online. Without further ado, let's get started and do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy. And yeah, first item is already what I'm wearing. Obviously, uh, apologies that I'm not like super dressed up, I'm just wearing my normal joggers. This is not gonna go with like most of the pieces. I have one skirt, everything else is a top, and I just couldn't really think of anything specific that would go with all the items, so I was like, I'll just stay in my joggers. So I hope you guys don't mind, we're in quarantine mode at the moment. But anyway, this top, it's very, very low cut, not something I would normally wear, probably would layer it up or only wear it like on a beach holiday or something, but it is a blue crop top, it's button up. So if you can see these details, um, yeah, it's just buttons up all the way here. Very low v-neck and then kind of got a bell sleeve design here. The sleeves flare out a little bit and then they cinch in at the wrist. Um, it's a tiny bit short on me because I'm really, really tall. But other than that, lengthwise, fit, um, it fits really well. I got a size 10 and yeah, it's not tight, but obviously if you have a bigger bust then do keep that in mind maybe go up a size um it's not super tight like i said it does fit as i would expect and hope it would so i'm happy with that and yeah i got this for i think 12 pounds and i really love the color i think it's perfect for spring and summer so i think what i would do is maybe wear like high-waisted jeans or something with it moving on to the next top okay next top is something very different for me i didn't actually realize the sleeve effect when i bought this um i don't know why i didn't even look at it properly but anyway it's got this really cool kind of i don't know what you'd call this like almost bat wing bell sleeve it's like a cape effect but I do quite like it, it's very different, um, looks pretty cool, I don't know, I quite like it. And again, just from Primark, this isn't a size 8, just because it's very loose and flowy. So, I'm really happy with this, the colour's different, very, very vibrant. Not sure if it's going well with my complexion, can't tell. But anyway, um, I think it will be really, really nice for summer, really great for outfit shots. Uh, I don't have many pieces in this kind of shade, obviously, like... It's a little bit out there, but definitely we'll find a way to style it and we'll see what I can pair it with. But I do like branching out sometimes, so I'm quite glad to have found this. And yeah, I don't remember how much it was. It was I think it was about £10. And it should be like in the new kind of spring stock. It goes, does not go at all with these leggings. I mean, joggers, but that's fine. So I have two, no, three more tops to show you guys. They're all from kind of random brands now. I'm just kind of crouching down to show you guys a better angle but basically I just layered it with a little crop top because it's very sheer obviously I don't think unless you had like a really pretty lacy bralette I don't think you could go with just this but it's from H&M and I think you guys can probably find this online okay oh, I'm so out of shape I can't even squat for like five seconds I got this for $17.99 and this one you should actually be able to find online H&M obviously sell online and it's just a really, really pretty spring blouse. I love that it has this ruffle detailing here, that it's a very sheer pink. It's also got, I don't know if it's the camera's picking up, but it's got these really pretty small brown polka dots, which kind of gives it that, just a nice different kind of pattern. And again, I think it would look amazing tucked into high-waisted trousers or a skirt. Can be easily dressed up and dressed down. I think it's quite a versatile piece. And I'm really, really glad to have found it um, actually, H&M usually have like some of the best blouses on the high street in my opinion. Also, this is a size 8, so just keep in mind their sizes are a little bit bigger usually. At least with blouses, they come in a little bit of a baggier style, so keep that in mind when you're ordering online. Next piece is, again, something a little more different. Not exactly daring, but definitely more for going out. Shows quite a bit more skin. It's a bardo top, so an off-the-shoulder top, and just one of those where the top kind of, you pull it up, 
so you can adjust the length, the like how low it is, which I quite like because yeah, it's a little more versatile, you can work with it a little more, adjust it to depending on what bottoms you're wearing, or like if you're wearing a coat or whatever. So yeah, I do really like it. I love that it's kind of like this electric blue shade. So I don't actually remember the brand. I will check the label and add in a little note here if it has one. My friend actually gifted this to me, but I think you can find this kind of thing honestly in any fast fashion brand now. Zaffle, um, Fashion Nova, probably Primark has stuff like this. I don't know, just anywhere. So it's not exactly the most unique piece, but I do love the color and I think halter tops look quite flattering on me. I used to buy loads of them, so I still have quite a lot in my in my closet. And I do like them for summer. You can get a bit of a better tan in them, and yeah, I just think they look really nice. So next piece is this M&S skirt. I actually got it in a size 8. I normally buy the Marks & Spencer skirts for in a size 10, and just because I like them to be a little bit looser, not like a bodycon skirt. So this one is a little bit tighter which I don't mind, it's still very flattering. This was in the regular size, by the way, but because it is so small, I have to wear it as like a high-waisted skirt, which I don't mind, just means it's a little shorter on me, it comes up around mid-thigh, so, because I'm almost six foot tall, on me it's basically a mini skirt, but it was sold as the regular size, so if you're average to petite height, then it should totally be just like a normal length, decent for work and everything, like very versatile, you could probably still, if you went like a size down on a slightly smaller size, whatever size you'd buy if you want something tighter, then I think you could wear it high waisted and it would be really really flattering as well. I do quite like the shape and it's got lining on the inside so I think that's just going to give it more of like a streamlined even shape without like crinkling you know what I mean I also love that it's basically tweed but I don't know if, I don't think it's real tweed but it's sold as a tweed skirt and it has um yeah just like a really nice violet print to it I probably wouldn't wear this like this electric blue halter top but I do quite like the color blocking and again for spring I don't have many purple pieces at all so I like having this as well and I do own another Mux and Spencer tweed skirt and it's lasted me years and I do really think they have good quality so this is a size 8 and it retails for £39, so it's slightly pricier but Marks & Spencer is kind of known for good quality and like very like practical pieces but sometimes they do really good like stylish pieces like this as well and I think I only got it for like £10 because I had some vouchers that I used. It was already on sale I think for £15 but the original price was £39 so I literally got it for like £10 which was amazing. So yeah, definitely recommend looking online at their skirts and dresses because some of them are actually like very on trend. So that is everything. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought. If you shop at these brands, what other brands you think I should do some hauls from. Maybe I'll do Pretty Little Thing or Misguided. Um, I'll have to see how bored I am and what my bank account thinks because I've been doing a bit of online shopping recently. But do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this. If you want more try-on hauls because they are quite fun to film. And I'll see you next time. Bye.